It was last week when we brought you part one of the unsolved mystery surrounding the death of a Lockport woman. At first it was believed she had died in a house fire, but now we're learning what really happened and who might have done it. Here's two on your sides, Leanne Stuck. It was definitely hard to think that someone in the house that morning had strangled her. Um, who? Why is not one of them talking? Why is not one of them telling what happened to her? 55 year old Holly Seiler was found dead at 605 East High Street after a house fire in October of 2016. Her family was grieving Holly's death under the impression she was killed in the fire. But a couple weeks later, the coroner released this report that showed Holly was actually strangled to death. It was clearly part of our um, investigation that she was killed prior to the fire and the fire was used to cover up um, her murder. Niagara County District Attorney Carolyn Witasik said the investigation took a strange twist just weeks later. Strangely enough, on November 8th, of that same year. So this happens on October 20th. Um, at, on November 8th, a, there was a second fire in that residence. First responders rushed back to the Lockport home to find out it was again intentionally set. Following day on the 9th, Holly Seiler's son, Caleb Bell Jr., was arrested for arson in the third degree. Uh, it was a week or so later after my sister was murdered that he um, set fire to the house. And um, we don't know why exactly. He claims it's because he was upset about his mother's death. Um, I've heard other rumors that he was trying to destroy more evidence. Witasik said Caleb Bell Jr. pled guilty to third degree arson and is currently serving a five to 10 year prison sentence. There are many persons of interest in this case and he's one of them. Did they have a good relationship? From far as I know, they did. Um, they did have a good relationship. Mary says she believes investigators could be doing more. It seems like some of the things that should be done aren't being done. However, Witasik says they're doing everything they can to try and solve this case. But I had everybody here. I had top prosecutors in the room. We had our investigators in the room. We had members of the Lockport Police Department. We had fire in the room month after month to go over the case, the facts of the case, potential suspects in the case, because it's important. We want to find who did this. It's a, a horrendous situation. And, and certainly the family uh, and I have one thing in common, and that is we want justice in this case. And to the person who killed her sister? Please, please give us the information. Tell us what happened. You're never going to have a good life until you do. You're never going to have, you're never going to be able to forgive yourself or no one will ever forgive you until you do. With this Unsolved, I'm Leanne Stuck. And if you have any information on this case, you're asked to contact the Lockport Police Department at the number on your screen. And if there's a case you'd like us to look into, send an email to unsolvedwny at wgrz.com.